Cortisol is the stress hormone. It is made by the adrenal gland and it circulates in the bloodstream. And what it does is it raises the serum glucose in order to provide more energy for the brain so that the brain can still run even when there's no glucose available. And also, it will start actually taking away from muscle. It will actually cause the dissolution of muscle in order to keep the brain fed. So chronic stress is the opposite of acute stress in terms of the physiology and in terms of the glucose requirement. The goal of chronic stress is to feed the brain because the brain is the highest glucose demander. It requires the most glucose all the time because it doesn't have a place to store glucose. So cortisol lifts energy from the rest of the body and makes sure that the brain gets it. Well, that has negative effects on the brain and it also has negative effects on that glucose excursion because glucocorticoids actually interfere with mitochondria and interfere with the ability to produce ATP in many of those organs. And so cortisol dissociates the energy availability from the energy utilization. It actually inhibits mitochondrial function. And so the higher the cortisol, the bigger the glucose rise, but the less well you're gonna clear it. Because glucose interferes with mitochondria, you see the effect as insulin resistance. In fact, the more stressed you are, the higher your fasting insulin because the less well your mitochondria are working. And the only way to fix that is fix the stress. Now, that's pretty hard to do.